Greetings, everyone. I am your grandfather, the sea storyteller. Since the average age audience of the cartoon series I am about to tell is between 25 and 30 years old, many of you may not remember it. Because this was a cartoon I watched in my childhood. Now, as an older individual, I remember those days and I was very impressed by the fun and imagination of American children. I longingly remember those times when I used to build tree houses, make weapons, and go on adventures of my own. When I look back, I realize the childhood I spent and how much fun I had thanks to my imagination and most importantly, unforgettable memories even if I didn't have money in my pocket. I can say that I am teary-eyed right now. Now look at yourself and imagine what you were doing at that age. Now look at what you are doing. Do you now understand how we lost our childhood? Get ready people. Now I will tell you the real story of the code name Afakans that adorned our childhood, information about the background and most importantly what the characters represent. Because this video is the story of a dream. Before the video starts, I ask you to subscribe to support our English channel that I have opened and you can support me by watching some videos for a few minutes. Don't forget to write your comments, questions and thoughts about this episode and the characters. You can only like the video in return for this labor. You can express your opinions about this cartoon series in the comments. If you are still not subscribed to my channel, you can subscribe. Don't forget to come to my Discord server for chat and theories and welcome to my channel and video. Before I start with the characters and this story, I should mention the following. Now it can be said that the cognacs for this cartoon series have disappeared or have never been collected. If the episodes of the cartoon series were unfortunately missing. I would watch them all. However, someone has created a similar file, not exactly a wiki, about this cartoon series and made it available to the public. Thanks to this foreign source, this video is being made. If you are willing to do this, it can be continued. Let's get to know our characters. They are a team of five elementary school age children who are members of an international organization fighting the adult tyranny of Cartoon Network. These five kids have a name called Sector V, a group of five in the worldwide organization known as Kids Next Door. Number one, Nigel Uno, is a paranoid conspiracy theorist who always wears sunglasses and has no hair. Number two, a, is a pilot and inventor known for making puns at inappropriate times. Number 3, Lauren Tom, is the heart of the team, always happy and serves as the team doctor. Number 4, D. Bradley Baker, is the boy who possesses an invaluable amount of street smarts and serves as a combat expert and enforcer for the team. Numbu 5, Chris Summer, is the only sane girl, desperately working to keep the team together. Together, the K and D of Sector 5, along with their childhood compatriots, fight against a multitude of villains, including the delightful boys from down the lane and their creepy father, Papa, Numbu 5's treacherous younger sister, Cree, and Mr. Boss, the corrupt corporate executive who hates children and wants them enslaved. Now you will understand why I say the villains are imaginative and real. Now it's time to get to know the villains and examine their background. The father. In the show, he is the father of the delightful children for down the lane, who is always rude and strict. This just represents everything that children hate about adults. In particular, authority and discipline. 
Of course, they hate people who make the laws, so they made him a supervillain in their make-believe game. He is probably the parent of one of the kids who is sometimes difficult for them because of all their mischief, Sticky Beard. It just represents the fact that adults are always trying to stop children from eating too much sugar. Adults often tell young people not to eat sugar because they don't want to deal with super hyper kids. Kids hate people like that because, frankly, kids love sugar and sweetness. In reality, Sticky Beard is probably a normal guy who likes to keep kids healthy, maybe even a nutritionist. Mr. Boss It represents that the children's parents are always at work. This is one of the most common situations for children. Of course, parents have to go to work to support their families so they don't have much time to spend with their children. Children don't see this, all they see is that the boss is taking their parents away from them, so in their eyes the boss is a villain. Delightful children from down the lane. Next up are the merry boys from down the lane. They represent the good shoes who always seem to follow the rules and never seem to do anything wrong. They are the slightly uncool kids who don't look fun at all, who you would never want to hang out with. Kids don't want to be like them and try to avoid them, so they villainize them in imagination games. Toilet attendant. In my opinion, this is the most likely part of this theory. In reality, he's probably a crazy, delusional homeless person who wears a toilet seat on his head. He's a really weird guy. All the villains in the show hate him and alienate him, even telling him that he's not a villain, that he's not cool, and that he can't be part of the villain club. If we assume that all the villains are normal people, we can conclude that they would avoid him and alienate him from their society. So we were actually watching these villains, the normal course of life, as we see it through the eyes of children. Everything that is bad for them is part of our lives, of adults. Those children didn't want to grow up. Because one day, they would be like them, and they would work in a job they didn't like, face bosses, submit to authority, not eat too much sugar, and live a life like a robot. Now look at yourself, and imagine what you were doing at that age. Now look at what you are doing, now do you understand how we have lost our childhood? If you have watched this far, it means that you liked the video, you can subscribe to my channel, express your opinions in the comments or support us by liking the video. Goodbye and see you in the next video.